oh my God, I've got to show you this video from Caledonia. Caledonia is a place in Canada, in Ontario, where there's been a standoff over some land that was owned by a developer wanting to build some houses. And some local indigenous paramilitaries have basically stopped it for years, for decades. And there was another blockade and like it's just total lawlessness. So the police go up there, the Ontario Provincial Police. So these are Doug Ford's police force. And I just got to show you this. Actually, I'll show you the video and then can we get the actual tweet itself, which was from the the commissioner. In fact, let's start that way if you can. Can we start with the tweet from the commissioner himself? So the, uh, the OPP commissioner, OPP stands for Ontario Provincial Police. The commissioner is like the head of it. So this is Ontario's police force in the same way that the RCMP is Trudeau's police force. Handpicked boss, uh, typically uh, under some sort of sway by the, the yeah. So here's, uh, here's the OPP commissioner. Protesters falsely blamed the Ontario Provincial Police for escalation in Caledonia. Extremely proud of my officers for their professional and measured response to keep the peace and preserve life while under attack. Arrests continue as members take responsible and sustained enforcement approach. Can you open that video up uh, full size and play it from the beginning with sound up? Thank you. And the male with camo is throwing rocks at us. We haven't hit it yet. Okay, nice. Who's throwing rocks? Male party with camo and we've been uh, lacrosse stick is hitting our cruiser. Mike, one, are you copying? Just stage your members uh, accordingly. Hey, can I ask you a question? Um, have you ever heard the uh, seen the acronym LEO? It, it stands for Law Enforcement Official or Law Enforcement Officer. Um, it's another way of saying cops. But but I like LEO, Law Enforcement Officer, because that reminds you of what they do. They enforce the law. Why weren't these law enforcement officers enforcing the law? They didn't arrest anyone. They didn't tackle anyone and stop them from destroying public property. Um, they didn't even say, stop. <laughs> they, they allowed their car to be smashed. Um, would they have kept going if like that one rock on the front windscreen cracked it so that windscreen has to be replaced? Looks like there were some more dents on the side. So let's say that the window was smashed completely through. Would the cops have said anything then? Let's say it was one of the side windows and the lacrosse racket had smashed a window. Would they have said anything then? What if those two thugs would have kept hitting the cops instead of hitting the window, hit the cops in the head? Would they have just <laughs> sat there? Would they, would they ever say the word, Stop, or would they say, stop, please, even? Please stop, guys. Would they say, guys, please stop? And the reason I ask these stupid questions is because if the police won't even protect themselves, why would you think they're going to protect mere citizens? And if these local thugs are so brazen and confident that they'll never be touched that they'll do this to cops, you can imagine what they would do to local citizens. And if you can, go back to that tweet by the commissioner there. He was so proud of this. This was his video. Obviously, the video was taken by a cop. It made its way up. Protesters falsely blamed a OPP for escalation. Extremely proud of it. You're extremely proud of your officers. You're extremely proud of what we just, for the professional response. Is it a professional response? 
to sit there while a police car is destroyed? Is that professional? Is it measured? There was no measure. There was zero response. If you measure it, it was zero. To keep the peace. Did they keep the peace? They didn't stop two guys from smashing up their own car. Arrests continue. I don't see the arrests. I didn't see the arrests. Responsible and sustained enforcement. I didn't see any enforcement, did you? How many lies are jammed in? There's three sentences there. F protesters falsely blamed OPP for escalation in Caledonia. All right, I don't even, I don't know about that. Extremely proud of my officers for their professional and measured response to keep the peace and preserve life while under attack. So four lies in that sentence. Arrests continue, lie number five, as members take responsible, lie, and sustained, lie, enforcement, lie. Eight lies in two sentences. And Thomas Carrick, the OPP commissioner, is so pleased with this video and his eight lies in two sentences that he wanted the world to see this. And I think the, the clip's been seen almost half a million times. This is the OPP 434,000 times. This is the OPP. This is who they, I mean, what is this other than a starter pistol for a hundred other thugs to say, oh, well, I've seen the police. They're actually a big old joke. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show that I do live at 12 noon Eastern time. We talk about the news of the day, we play interesting viral videos, and most importantly, I take your questions that you chat to me through YouTube Super Chat. I think that's the funnest part of it. So tune in every weekday at 12 noon Eastern time, only here at rebelnews.com.